This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of Arc Mods Weekly. I got some great mods for you as usual, so let's get to it. The first mod we are going to look at today is called Potions. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to go into your Ingrams per the usual. There's a few different things you have to search here. So the first thing you want to search is potion and that's going to bring up the set of potions here you can see they're each going to cost you two ingrams to learn and they all have varying crafting costs i'm not going to go over each of them because there's a lot of potions in this mod so you can download it and figure those out for yourself they're they're pretty reasonable though you can see this one's five sap and 20 stem berries not bad anyway the next thing you want to search is elixir and that's going to bring up these two or you can just type in elix you don't have to type it in all of it uh, that's going to bring up the two strength elixirs there's a lesser and a greater so those are going to cost you two each you can see they have varying degrees of uh, recipes as well uh, one's much going to be much harder than than the other and you have to learn this one before you can learn this one and next up you're going to type in stim and that's going to bring you up the last potion for you to learn here and that is the super stimulant and uh, that's going to cost you five stim berries, two spark powder, and three stimulant. It's pretty cheap, going to cost you three ingrams to learn. Now, the reason I'm showing this mod off is because, first off, Arc needs some more potion options than what it currently has. I mean, it, it, it kind of has potions, but not really. And these are really neat in the fact that you can use pretty much all of these on your dinos, with the exception of the strength elixirs. They don't do anything. You can't even use them on a dino. I'll show you here. So we have this little moss chops here. So if I uh, just put a, a, a strength elixir over here and I can hit E and nothing happens and he doesn't use it. However, if we pump up his health a little bit so he has some damage to him and we transfer over a health potion, you can see he automatically drinks it and uses it immediately. Let's tr transfer over another one. You can see now that it has a cooldown. So from the looks of it, these have a 60 second cooldown and that appears to be the same throughout each of these potions. You can also use the stamina potions on them as well. If we jump on this guy here, do a little barrel roll action and then jump into his inventory and I transfer one of these stamina potions over, I can hit E and you can see that it pumped his stamina back up. Um, this one is 120, the lesser is 75. So the lesser healing potion is 80 and the lesser or er, in the regular healing potion is 160. And then you have the rejuvenation potion, which works the same. It heals for 2% of the health um, every second. So this also works on dinos. If I transfer that over and use it, you can see that he starts to heal. So the other great thing about this, and I really love this because how many times, how many times, and I know all of you all out there have had this happen on more than one occasion, have you went to tame something, you knock it out, and the mother thing falls down in the water and drowns. It's the worst, and you know, you stem the crap out of them, you're, you're making them every stem potion you have, and nope, they just don't wake up in time. Well, with this super stem, watch this. So here's his uh, torpor right now. You can see it's chunking down a little bit pretty fast. Bam, look at how, how quick it starts to go down now. Really quick. Same thing with the pteranodon. Let's, let's hit this pteranodon. Knock him out. Hit Q here. So you can see his torpor take it down relatively, you know, not, not super fast. Super stem, look at it go, look at it go. It just starts speeding down, speed down. All right, give him another one. There it goes. So, you know, you start putting these super stems on something, it's gonna wake up really fast. This drastically drops the torpor. I mean, look at how quick that's going down. Like, it's just chunking down there. So this is great for, you know, those specific occasions. If you're in a scorpion fight and you don't have great armor, you know, you can use one of these and pretty much never get knocked out. Now we're, we're back down. It stopped. Looks like it stopped working. So we'll just put another one on him here. Use it. There you go. It's just chunking down. So, you know, depending on how much oxygen, whatever you've knocked out has, there's a chance it may drown. But with these, 
uh, super stems, it's going to get up a lot faster and hopefully um, lower that chance that it does drown. I mean, this guy's almost woken up. If I put another one on him here, um, yeah, there's a pretty good chance that he, he may, may not have drowned if he had passed out in the water. So, yeah, really great mod. I really like all these different potions. And, of course, we have the strength potions for us uh, Archeans or whatever you want to call us. Um, you just use that there. These have 180 seconds. And uh, I don't think yep, these have 120. So you can stack these. You can see that they boosted my weight drastically. And, of course, all these other potions work on me the exact same that they were working on the dinos. So I have both of these potions going. You can see them going down there in the bottom right-hand corner. So great little mod, great little addition. It's just tiny. That's, that's pretty much all it adds. And all of these are crafted inside your inventory. Let's learn our lesser healing. So if we come back over here to our inventory and we type in less... So you can see that uh, right there it is. We can just craft it right up inside of our inventory without any issues. So really great. You don't need a mortar and pestle and all that stuff. All right, so I'm kind of partial to this next mod because it's very similar to a mod I made way back, back in the day of Ark. Um, it's called Mobile Storage Box. And it's not just Mobile Storage Box. You get the storage box. You get the smithy you get the forge and you get the fabricator and they all essentially do the same thing that i'm about to so show you so let's take a look at our ingrams first so we're going to come over here to our ingrams and we're going to type in mob and that's going to bring up each of these you can see that they're going to cost you absolutely no ingrams to learn however you can see that their crafting cost varies a little bit this one's going to cost you a heck of a lot more wood than the normal one as well as thatch the smithy not too bad the the forge not not terrible and uh the fabricator not terrible either i'm i'm those may even be the exact same let's Let's take a look here. So here is the regular smithy, 550, 30, 20, 550, 30, 20. So yeah, the rest of them are going to be pretty much the same crafting cost. But the really great thing about these is they drastically reduce the weight of everything that is inside of them. So you can see that I have 100 stone here. It only weighs 5. If I transfer it over to me, it weighs 50 transfer it back it only weighs five which is absolutely great for when you have a mount and you have storage on them and if we take a look at our little buddy here you can see that he only has 292.7 weight if i actually hop off of him and we look at his weight you can see that it's at an even 200 so really really great for just getting around also they hold an insane amount of items and they have an insane amount of health you can see that the health on this thing is absolutely crazy and it is the same on each of them absolutely crazy amount of health so they're not getting destroyed very easy and um this can hold apparently an infinite amount however it does have a weight limit so it can hold an infinite amount of stacks but a specific amount of weight and if we come over here to the smithy you can see that it holds 600 items and it has a weight limit as well but due to the fact that everything is reduced weight you're going to be able to pack probably way more than 600 in there before you hit that that weight limit um, you can see that the forge has uh, 20 it can hold, hold 20 items but it does not have uh, a weight limit to it at all and so this is this actually would work out really great if you have one of those stacking mods because you can fit a ridiculous amount of stuff in here due to the fact that it doesn't have a weight limit and if we come over here to this uh, fabricator you can see that it holds 600 items and it has no weight limit as well and we can demonstrate all of that by grabbing some stone out of here and I will show you how each of this changes so you can see there that it changed so one one is in there and it's one of 600 
And, uh, well, you can't put stone in that one. Can we put stone in this one? Is it going to let us? Yeah, so two of 600, and it has weight, but no limit. It's, uh, it's dashed out. So these are really great for if you like mobile bases and you don't want to have to worry about annoying weight limits. And on top of that, these storage boxes hold so much stuff that it's it's great and honestly I really hate the storage limits in Ark the tiny little boxes so I actually have a regular storage box here we place that down and you can see it holds a measly 15 items and that is just so freaking annoying especially when you start gathering insane amounts of resources and some people are gonna be like well you know it's it's all about the realism a tiny little box couldn't hold that much stuff all right so I, I got your realism right here you, you see you see this feces look at this feces look at this box feces box feces but you see the size right there you see that you see that okay no, there we go it fits right in there no there's no realism in arc none at all and i hate the the box limits i really the storage limits 15 for is just ridiculous that is the reason i made my mod originally and that is the reason i love this mod because it's it's amazing and i don't want to have to worry about limits I just want to pile stuff in there and it's great and the fact that it reduces weights is even better because that will allow you to carry more on your mobile basis without having to worry about overweighting your pet and yeah it's going to be kind of cheating when it goes out and you go out and you're gathering metal or what have you you're going to be able to carry a lot more back to your base but come on it's for funsies. No, I mean, you're not going to be using this on a PvP server or anything like that. So, absolutely amazing mod. I suggest everybody out there who, who has a server, you're playing just for fun, all of that, you should totally play with it and get rid of those, those annoying limits that, that Ark currently has. The next mod we are taking a look at is called Draw Bridges and More, and this mod is so amazing. I love it. Okay, let's take a look at our Ingrams. You're going to go in here, and the first thing you're going to type is bridge, or just B-R-I-D, and that's going to bring up the most of the stuff that you can learn in this mod, and here it is. You can see that some of it's going to cost you Ingram, some of it's not, and it's relatively cheap on the Ingram cost at three and uh, varying different crafting costs. I'm not going to go over each of the crafting costs, so you can download the mod and experience those for yourself. The next thing you're going to want to type is BM, and that's going to allow you to learn the last final three things, and they're going to cost you zero as well. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at all of this awesome stuff. So. I have a little setup here to show you each of the different things and I have what they are in the chest. So this chest I'm going to be showing you the foundation mount, the wooden bridge structure, and the wooden bridge support. So I have it attached to the uh, foundation here and if you take a look you can see oh, if I manage to not double jump there's like a little tiny uh, line. You, s you see this wooden piece right across here? That is your mount structure, and that just connects to uh, pretty much anything that has a snap point and allows you to connect other stuff to, or these other pieces to it, super easy. And I'll break this down here in a second and show you what that looks like and how to place it. Uh, I just wanted to point it out so you could see it uh, actually connected. Then we have the wooden bridge itself which is what you see here that we're standing on. Looks, you know, pretty similar. If you didn't know any better, you would think that it was already part of Ark. And then we have the wooden bridge support or the beam support, and that is right here. And this actually snaps one at different angles. So let's break all this down and take a look at it. I'm just gonna pick all of it up. And you can pick all of this up. I'm just using the, um, the gun here because it's a, a lot faster. So we've got each of those things picked up. Let's grab them out of our inventory and we will place them down here. All right, so this is your support structure and it's actually two pieces you can see here. We snap it on, it snaps like that. So it has both pieces where it connects to the end and the piece that actually snaps to your foundation. And then we can hit five and the bridge will snap right in there without any issue whatsoever. Now, you don't have to have that piece. I was just wanted to point it out. The bridge should actually connect to any snap point. So if we just place it like so, you can see that it 
snaps right on there. It doesn't look quite as good in my opinion because you have those gaps, but I just wanted to show you that it is an option. It will snap on snap points. And then we have the supports. And you can see that when I look in different directions, that support actually changes angle. And there you go. And it works just like any other, you know, beam support would work. All right, let's move on to the next setup we have over here. And in this setup, I'm going to be showing you the drawbridge base and the drawbridge structure. This doesn't have an icon for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it just doesn't have the icon yet. Uh, like I say, every other time, I have a lot of mods going in and out of this map, so it is possible that that's just an issue on my end. But yeah, that's not showing up for me, but that's fine. So here is the drawbridge structure. This thing is absolutely phenomenal okay check this out here we go oh yeah just like you would expect it to work drawbridge action it's a little short uh they do have a larger option which i'll show you here in a second but you know it's amazing it's so great i mean just all the stuff you could do with this in imagination's the limit i absolutely love it i love everything about it look at that open and close and uh, of course you can pick it up and uh, you know it's got your your normal options let's go ahead and pick this up and I'll show you placing it so of course we have the uh, the drawbridge base structure and here is our drawbridge and that's in our four slots I'm gonna remember that because I can't see it so these are a little wonky at placing at times I notice they they kind of just want to snap wherever so if you kind of just hang back a little bit, they, they snap in place. Sometimes you got to back way up, which I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and then, of course, you just snap your structure on. However, the drawbridge is different from the actual bridge. You can see the drawbridge won't snap without its uh, drawbridge base structure to snap to. So you got to have that. And there you go. That's the, uh, the, the normal size drawbridge. You just hit E to open and close it. Okay, on to the next one. Next up, we have the drawbridge base times two and the drawbridge large. And this is exactly like the uh, normal drawbridge, except it's wider. And I think it may, yeah, it's a, it's a bit longer too. It's, it's much, much sturdier for those bigger dinos. And it works just the same way. But placing this one is a little bit different. So we're going to pick up each of these pieces and I'll show you placing those. So you're gonna need two of these drawbridge base structures, the times two ones, and then you gotta kinda, you, this one's a little bit, you gotta finagle it. If you see, it's it wants to snap back the wrong way, so you gotta, you back up like so, you can eventually get it to snap, and then you wanna do the same thing with the other one. You gotta be careful, because if you don't, it'll actually snap in the wrong spot if you look Okay, here we almost had it. If when it snaps here, it's actually snapping back here, and uh, that's not what you want. I find the easiest thing to do is just back up till you get it in place, like so, and then you should be able to place your extra large drawbridge structure without any problems. And yeah, absolutely amazing, great mod. Now this one. This one's what sold it for me for this mod. This is the ramp. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got in the box here. So we have the drawbridge ramp structure, and that is this right here. Now this thing is amazing for multiple reasons. So you can see right now it is a ramp. You can run up and down it just like a ramp would without any problems, but you can also make it not a ramp. You can make it a slope up. So you could technically have uh, your base set up so that you, you walk in through the ramp here. You know, you're just gonna walk up your ramp and you do whatever in your base and then you have another level up here. So you close your door to the base and then you can walk up to the next level. So it acts as a door and a ramp up to the next level. Absolutely amazing, but that's not all. So if we hit, uh, hold down E while looking at it, you can see that we can set the ramp angle so we can make it flat if we want. And then it works similar to a drawbridge, so you could put one on each end of a structure and have it working that way. And have it up and down, you know, normal, like half a drawbridge. We can go back to set the angle. We can put it in ramp mode. 
and here it is with the mode that I was showing you that's the ramp mode right there works just like a ramp that just fluctuates up and down and then we can do the 30 degree angle which is just a bit more of an incline but you can still walk up and down it and it works beautifully okay but that's not all so we can also go in here and let's change the angle back to flat so I can demonstrate this easier and then we can set the width so we can click that and we can uh, change the width to the left or the right and we are stuck in it now so we should probably uh, go back and uh, default that let's get up above here so I can show you the width so we can go in here and set the width and you can extend it either way so there it's extended that way you can extend it both ways though so you can extend it to the left or to the right so there it is extended and we can go back in and set the width and that's that's it you can only change the width to one way or another but you can make it wider so it's essentially the same as the uh, the extra large over there so let's go back and change the width to default and then we can also of course pick it up but you can also set the length of this thing and you can just straight out set the length times four like so and it just stretches it out super large and it of course still works like a drawbridge and it will still work with the angle set so let's just set the angle to ramp there you go still works just like a giant massive ramp okay let's flatten it back out all right and you can even go in and set the length in increments so you can shrink it down and get it just right where you want it so let's take it back to uh, one so you can take it out plus one just a little bit to get it like nudge it right to where you want it and the same thing if you go to set length you can also shrink it back down right to where you want it you can actually make it super tiny so you can have a super little teeny tiny ramp like so yeah just a little little boop of a ramp you know uh really really great that's yeah i i suggest you download it and play with it the things that you could do with just this alone are amazing you can see that it snapped right to this structure here without any issues i didn't have to add anything or anything like that the snap point just snaps right to pretty much any snap point absolutely amazing this alone could be a mod in itself okay and last but not least in this box we have the uh, medium drawbridge and we have the foundation mount now the foundation mount is like the other ones that I showed you over there except it's only one piece and this is your medium drawbridge you see it's kind of it's kind of wonky I didn't get it snapped in quite the right spot but uh, yeah uh, it, it does work and it will snap if you mess with it uh, I'm, this is mainly to show you this because you understand how the drawbridges work now but this here is uh, what I wanted to show you and it is just a little half mount it doesn't have the other extended piece that the other ones have to allow you to have a snappable side onto wherever you can get this thing to snap so let's go here and we will grab the drawbridge and drag it down here and if you look it looks like we're snapping right but if you look underneath of the um, structure there we're actually snapping back up underneath and for some reason I can't get that to work right however it should fit in your um, times two slot it's just not going to be as wide as the other one you can see that it snaps right in the to the spot there but it, it's only half as big as your extra large but it is longer but um, it will snap to that point as well using this but you can snap other stuff here I like I said mainly just wanted to show you the half half um, mount here and that's not all I have some more cool stuff in this mod to show you so let's head on over this way so next up we have different types of railing we have the bridge railing and we have the bridge railing times three so if you take a look here this is your bridge railing and this is your bridge railing times three just extra large bridge railing uh, three times as high really great stuff and we move on over to here we have the short ramp and these are the ones that when you I had you search the BM this is the ones that come up you have the short ramp 
the wooden ramp and then I have a normal ramp in here to show you that I'm going to show you the difference between the two and then we have the ladder structure here so these structures that end in BM apparently don't look for any foundation checks so if you look here this is our normal ramp and you can see that it stops about halfway ish down so yeah it stops about halfway down now this is the ramp BM you see that I was able to take it all the way down to the bottom and I have absolutely zero support structures under it it does not care about um, your foundation checks and then we have the short ramp and the, from what I can tell with the short ramp it looks to be about the same size so here is the normal ramp and, or here is the ramp BM and here is the short ramp BM but uh, from the looks of it they're they're about the same size it looks like just the angle on it has changed a little bit it's it's not as sloped as the other uh, ramp and then we have the ladder I was able to put the ladder all the way down but I tested that with a normal ladder as well and I was able to do the same thing with a normal ladder so this may or may not look for foundations but I don't think that it matters for foundations anyway and that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Arc Mods Weekly. I hope you all enjoyed the mods this week. Before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. It really helps out a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.